Surfshark app on Apple TV is here and today I'll show you everything you need to know including how to set it up, how it works and other details you may wish to know. Let's get right into it. So here we have Apple TV hooked up to our monitor and the first thing we're going to do is open up the Apple App Store. Here we're just going to go to the search bar and type in Surfshark. It should appear as the first result. So we're just going to select it and click on the install button, just like that. Once it's installed, let's click on open and here we are. Next, let's log in. So if you're familiar with Surfshark, you know that there's a variety of ways that you can log in. Here you can use an Apple account or just your regular username and password or you can also even create an account if you're new. And my favorite way to log in is by using a QR code option. So what I'm going to do is just take my phone, scan the QR code, and just like that, I'm in. Once we're in the app, all we have to do is select the location we want to connect to. So for this video, I'll just go to Canada and we're in, we're connected. Now, if you want to favorite a location, you can press this star icon to favorite it and it will appear at the top. Alternatively, you can also long press on a location and it will open up this menu to add to favorites. And also if you want to remove a particular location from favorites, just all you have to do is select it, long press and remove from favorites. So that's how that works. Searching for locations can be very useful if you need to find a specific VPN server. That can be done by just using this search icon here, or you can also select this search menu at the top of the screen. So here we can just search for any location and it should be right here. By the way, if you are using Surfshark's dedicated IP, it will appear here also on the locations list if you have it. Let's now jump into the app settings here on the right. And here we have a limited number of options we can select. First is of course the account where we can delete our account or log out out of the app. We also have the get help section where you can scan this QR code and get access to our customer support page for more help. And you can also report a bug in the get help option here in case you're having some kind of an issue. And the rest of these options are just documentation like privacy policy and terms of service. By the way, if you're having an issue where you cannot connect to the VPN on your Apple TV, you can try going to your Apple TV system settings, then network, then select Surfshark WireGuard VPN. Next up, select connection details. And then at the bottom, just select delete the VPN. After doing that, try connecting again and it should work just fine. So that's really it. Now at the end, I just wanted to also address any potential questions you may have. First is what kind of VPN protocol is the Apple TV app using since you can't select it in the settings? And the answer is WireGuard protocol, which works great and secure and it's also very fast. Next, are there any plans to bring other features like static IP, multi-hop, clean web and others since, well, they're not here on the app as of this moment. So right now, these features are not planned for the Apple TV app, but I will make sure to make an update video if it does happen. Speaking of which, do you want to know what new updates are coming to Surfshark each and every month? Then click here to watch our latest episode of the Surfshark video update series, where you can find the latest and greatest Surfshark updates here in one spot. So I'll see you there. And until then, take care.